Cassie here from Keller Williams and I wanted to talk a little bit today about new construction. So I'm here at a new construction walkthrough and the reason you want to have an agent with you when you buy new construction is when you go into a builder, it's like going into a car dealer. They have one product to sell, they're going to tell you whatever they want to tell you to so you can buy it and they represent themselves. When we represent you buying new construction, one of the perks is you've got my extra four eyes looking for some of the finishing touches. So this is a uh, this is a walkthrough that happens prior to closing. And this is the time when we're gonna take out the blue tape, we're gonna mark up stuff that we see. Um, I've already seen some paint maybe on the pavers. And so I just wanna kinda show you what the house looks like before, and then we'll come in after, and I'll just kind of show you kind of the, some of the things we highlighted that they're gonna take care of before closing. So come on in, and uh, brand new, it's gonna be closing in about a week. Right now we don't have anything marked because we haven't found anything, um, but the idea of this tour is the homeowner is going to meet with the builder, they're going to go through the house, and they're going to select the things that maybe might need to be adjusted. What people need to realize is that um, hands build houses, and as perfect as everything we want everything to be, there's always going to be some little stuff, so this is the opportunity to kind of go through and mark the things that um, might need improvement. So come on, I'm just going to walk you through really quick and just kind of show you a little bit of what they did. This is a house um, in Davenport I have an investor buying. And we've got the bathroom, we've got, they kind of come in and done, done a little bit of a clean. We're gonna be marking some of the paint we're finding right here. And this is just a really an opportunity for us to go through each thing from top to bottom and mark what needs to happen. So after we do this tour, we're limited to how many people can be in the house during the inspection. So after the tour, we're gonna to come back to the house and I'll show you some of the things that we highlighted and marked. And um, that's part of what happens when you buy new construction. So if you're looking to buy new construction or resales, think of us and we'll be right back with the uh, results from our walkthrough tour. So uh, we are done with the walkthrough. It took about two hours and we went through the house painstakingly from floor to ceiling. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through and show you what we flagged, okay? So this is the front room area. We found some drywall, uh, some drywall stuff here and there. Um, just, they just need to finish it. So if it's blue, it's a paint thing. If it's a green tape, it's drywall. We tested the windows, they all open up, they all lock, and this room is good. Just a couple more little drywall boogers, I call it. We're gonna adjust the front door lock as well that was highlighted. The floors have some a little bit of paint on them, but we're gonna have that fixed as well. We, uh, th this wall was a little crooked. Not the whole wall, it's not a supporting wall. It's just a little baseboards crooked, so we're having that adjusted. A couple little drywall boogers. We, we found that the sink doesn't hold the water like it's supposed to. So whenever we come into a walkthrough, we always fill it up with water and, and put, put it there so to see if it holds water, right? That's what a sink's supposed to do, a sink stopper. So we just find, and this is the second bathroom, we, oh no, I'm sorry, this is the third bathroom. We just find a couple drywall things, pretty much good shape. We ran the shower, all good. We closed the doors, we locked the doors. Uh, closets, we found uh, some that just need to be cleaned up. Uh, the, the, it kind of opens on its own, so they're gonna adjust the hinge so it doesn't do that to you. And what else? Everything else was fine in this room. So this is bedroom number four, bathroom number three, so. We'll come back to the kitchen. So in the living room area, we have the pantry where we just, you know, it just needs a little bit of cleanup. Um, you know, we're kind of picky about it. Open it up, and we've just got some paint touch-ups on the doors. And pretty much everything in blue is just paint. There was some paint on what I call, I call that the cat toy, that's the door stopper. But it's really more of a cat toy. Um, coming into this main hallway, they're gonna adjust this too. This was a little crooked. I have OCD, so that's good for you. Um, I've got some little, little drywall boogers. We highlighted in the guest bathroom. They're gonna hit underneath the kick plate, just need a little touch up. We've got some paint needed. Anything blue is just really kind of cosmetic paint stuff. This is bedroom number three. All the windows, by the way, have been opened just to make sure they stay open. It's really important. And then the closet, there's just some wood work that needs to be done and some paint touch up around the uh, hinges. 
pretty common. You know, you get all the trades in here doing stuff and someone's gonna make a mess somewhere. So all that's been marked. And let's go on to bedroom number two. There's four bedrooms we got. All right, <clears throat> so just some minor stuff, some paint. There's a little crack, uh, they're gonna seal it up there. Got some drywall, little just minor, minor, minor stuff, okay? We also have a little drywall fix here right above the air AC intake, and they're gonna have, they're gonna fix a little bit of the paint inside there. And then, you know, your typical hallway stuff. So, vacant houses, ants love vacant houses. So, there was this little ant colony living their best life right there, and so we flagged that they're gonna take care of that as well. On the patio, they're gonna be taking care of any paint that's on the pavers, both on the front and the back as well. We did an outside inspection as well as an inside inspection. The only thing better than having uh, me here is having another inspector here. But we got it for you, we had, we had some help. Um, this is the master bedroom and there wasn't a whole lot in here. There was a couple things in the bathroom. In the master bathroom, um, the kick plate needed some touch up. We also found just a couple little Little, little tiny chips in the quartz countertop that can be very easily fixed. The water closet, we've got a few little things in there, just paint and drywall. The uh, shower, the tile of the shower, the reason that's highlighted is there's a little bit of the, when they did the grout, there's kind of a little bit of a layer that never came off. So they're gonna scrub that off for you. And there you go. We had to come back to the kitchen. There were some contractors fixing the uh, disposal in there. So we're at the kitchen. One of the things that you always want to check in a kitchen on new construction is the, the countertop surface. So I always run my hands underneath it to make sure it's been cut smooth. You want to run your hands over the top. So when, you run, when I ran my hand over the top, I noticed there was a couple little tiny, tiny chips, which does happen to quartz. And what they're going to do is they're going to fill it in. So all of that's going to be remedied. We opened up all the cabinets. We ran the water. We ran the disposal. That's why we had to call the contractor out. There was just something in there. So we got that fixed. And the kitchen tested fine. We ran the oven. We ran the microwave. And we ran the dishwasher. All right. So that's what you need to look for when it comes to the kitchen stuff. So one of the cool things about helping clients buy both brand new and resale homes is with brand new construction, I always go to the walkthroughs. Whenever possible, I am there. And there's a reason for that because there's just certain things that come up during a new construction that pretty much come up at every single walk I've been on. But some of the really tiny things that you don't wanna miss is, for example, let me show you, this is called a cancer on a mirror. And it's very, very tiny. But that right there, if we don't do anything with that, it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and you don't want that. So it's a brand new house. And what's gonna happen is this builder is gonna replace the entire mirror. If we had not flagged that though, they wouldn't do anything. So if you go to buy new construction, please, please, please contact a realtor and contact our team. 407-432-9180, we're here to serve you. We're your local agents with local expertise serving the global community.